What's up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, we'll be discussing a Lycra. What is it? How does it differ from spandex? And how is it used predominantly in the activewear sportswear industry? Welcome to Fit Design TV. On this channel, we'll explore what it takes to make it as an activewear fashion brand, whilst providing tips, tricks, and actionable steps towards starting your own product line. Whether you're an entrepreneur looking to start your own brand or just someone interested in fitness fashion, there's something for you here. Right off the bat, we have to understand that a Lycra is just a brand name. A Lycra is to spandex what Kleenex is to tissues. It's a brand name created by a company called Dupont, which funny enough actually invented the spandex fiber in 1959 and they use the Lycra brand as a way to differentiate their fibers from other generic players on the market and to be able to market it at a higher price point. So what Lycra is, is it's just spandex. It's added as a fiber to other fibers to create fabrics and give them stretch. For example, cotton right off the bat is not particularly stretchy and if it stretches over time, it sometimes loses its shape. The only reason it has some stretch is because it's a knitted fabric. But when we add Lycra, even 10% can add almost up to two times the stretch to cotton and it's gonna allow it to rebound its shape. Likewise, with something that is very much not flexible, like a woven fabric because of its structure, we've also done a video on woven versus knitted fabrics that I highly recommend you check out, it's on our channel but something like a woven fabric, which is great because of its lightweightness, its robustness, um, it is very waterproof. So you get a lot of the benefits, but you don't get the stretch. When you introduce Lycra into this woven structure, you allow it to stretch, which is a major positive. How is Lycra used in industry? It's predominantly used in the textile industry, like I said, to add stretch to garments. And we always see it in garments that are very form-fitting like swimwear, you see it in underwear, you see it in a lot of active wear, just it's gonna allow the garment to mold to the shape of the wearer and to stick close to the skin. It's also used in motion, motion capture suits, so it's used in a lot of places that you may not think, just because it allows the fabric to stretch to where it wouldn't normally stretch. One of the major drawbacks of spandex and this is something to bear in mind, is that it is predominantly white in color. So what you see in certain garments is when they get stretched, you'll see those white fibers coming through. But this is where Lycra steps in and it saves the day because Lycra is a customized brand for spandex. What they've done is they've developed offshoots of spandex and they have different versions of what they call like Lycra Black which is DuPont's way of pioneering the spandex fiber and allowing it to be black. They've done some things within their manufacturing methods to allow them to create a black spandex fiber, which they call Lycra Black, and that's introduced to black garments to give them a richer and darker color so that when they stretch and they shear, you don't see those white spandex threads. What you do is you see those black Lycra threads and it retains that color vibrancy. So that's one of the many ways in which Lycra has redefined the spandex genre and have made designer or specialized fibers. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys kind of see the difference between Lycra and spandex. Just understand that Lycra is spandex, it's just a brand name of spandex, and it's typically perceived at a higher caliber. Likewise, there are other companies that make brand name spandexes like Criora, and they're also differentiating themselves in certain ways, and there are other companies that also do this. So don't be detracted when you hear Lycra, do understand that it's just spandex meant to give fabric stretch. Hopefully you guys have followed through with that. And if you have any other topics that you'd like to see, stuff that you have on tip of your mind and you wanna ask or you've never known, do feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'll love to answer them. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun to research it and to figure out the answers to your questions. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. Until next time, stay awesome.